Hey everybody, welcome to Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Grab yourself a cold drink and we will show you how to use a speedy stitcher. Alright, like I said, I'm going to show you how to use a speedy stitcher. This is a speedy stitcher. There's a couple different variations. You got one where the bobbin is back here. That cover comes off. You got a bobbin in there. And there's another one that's the bobbin is up in a bracket up here. Now some people have been known to take and leave that bobbin out of there and just run the thread up through the hole around this little stud here. That's for uh, setting a little bit of tension. Run down and run into the groove on your needle. There's, there's a groove. I don't know if you can see it. Let me peel that back. Anyway, there's there's a groove in here. That's where your thread lays down. Now, when I use it, I usually put the, this button down here and put that on the bottom. Now, what I do, and the way you're supposed to do it, is... I've already poked some holes in my leather here, and if you run yourself out a little bit of thread, now I put my finger on this back here, what you do is I hold it so the thread is coming up to the top. Poke through, now you pull it. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes a loop up here. I take, pull that loop through, pull the needle out, move over to the next one, go through, get your little loop, put the tail through there, pull it up tight, pull it. Run through. Grab the tail. Pull it back through. Pull it up. Get your get your knot basically in the middle of the of your work. Run through again. Through. I usually grab a whole thread and pull it up tight. Once you get the hang of it, you can run right down through here. Hook it. Work it back and forth a touch. Now you want to make sure that when you make your loop that you're not catch you didn't make the loop or get the thing turned around with your thread coming in on the top because you go and loop it through there and you will end up getting a problem. You'll knot it, and then you can't get it in or can't get it out, then you gotta unthread. But like I say, if you get, get yourself a hang of it, you can zip right on down through this. And this, is doing the same principle as using two needles and doing your saddle stitching. Every once in a while I'll go back and I'll just make sure that my knot is on the inside and it's the thread, yeah, the stitching is 
coming out nicely. Like I say, once if once you work this thing enough, you develop a hang of it, and you can zip through this in no time. Now let me go through here and finish this off. Now you can just go ahead as you as you're stitching. You can cut the holes with this that that needle's pretty sharp up there all right let's end it here all right so what i do is i get to my last hole i pull it back a little bit i come to the second from the last hole now watch when you do this because you'll stick yourself in the hand come through come back and I'll go ahead pull a little off go to my third hole from the end push through catch it pull through Cut my thread. Tie it. Take my flamethrower. Take it out of the clamp. That's all there is to it. Now you can use use that, or you can go ahead and use your go through and hand stitch it. You know, with two needles and your thread. It's all up to you. But like I say this is that's pretty handy. I've you I used this for a long time when I first started out, and then I got. Uh, uh, one of them Chinese hand cranky sewing machines. I moved from that to a uh, Singer uh, 29-4 treadle machine. And I progressively got better until I got the uh, big uh, Ferdinand the Bull. And I haven't looked back. Every once in a while I'll get needle and thread out and I'll stitch something up by hand or something I can't get on one of the machines and I'll run it through but really I think everybody should learn how to hand stitch first when you get that down then you know go get yourself a sewing machine stitch machine but like I said I think everybody should master hand stitching before you move on it gives you the appreciation of the mechanized uh, sewing machines so I just wanted to you know because I have I really haven't seen too many people that use the uh, speedy stitcher I've seen people using the uh, two needles and thread and just you know zippity doo on through their projects so I figured what the heck I dug it out of the toolbox and dusted it off put some uh, thread on the spool Now I don't know how well that uh, One I've seen I saw somebody YouTube video or something like that. He He just had a spool sitting there aside and he had it run through Now I have a couple times been stitching along 
and the thread doesn't want to feed because in there it's there's no tension on that uh, bobbin inside and it may crank around get stopped and then you got to pull the end off and give yourself some some slack but you know everybody has a preference speedy stitcher two needles and a thread or they skip up to the machine and just never really learn how to uh, use the hand stitching so I'm not gonna bore you anymore I just wanted to uh, put some information out there if you find it handy and useful I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos and if you want to know when we post a video we usually try and post them uh, Thursday or Friday and if you like the content like share subscribe yeah uh, we like to have you around I believe you know there's a lot of people out there have information I may be kind of boring but the information I put out is is live I don't edit my videos what you see is what you get it's a one and done if I cut myself you see my blood if I make a mistake you see it I don't try and hide it some creators do because perfect content gives uh, uh, people coming back more so it's Friday and I'm ready to get out of here start my 4th of July weekend I want to I want to wish everybody a happy weekend be safe and we will see you next week come on back Cowboys out bye now